Hello there, welcome back to my channel. The song Samu Misa Spava by Luke Black is another qualifier from the first semi-final of the Serbian National Final for Eurovision 2023. And it's the one that it is time to listen to. So uh, without further ado, let's do just that. That's a performance for the history books, for sure. It has to be. Like, what did I just watch? Absolutely incredible. Um, just like this whole storytelling aspect of it as well. And then you have like such a characteristic and <laughs> I guess like out, out there and outstanding instrumental approach. It's, it's a massively engaging instrumental throughout the song. The vocal is not really that, I guess, uh, prominent throughout. It's mostly just kind of in a whispery kind of tone. Uh, it's not a like a big vocal performance per se. It's more just a very characteristic and important vocal performance in, in the whole kind of uh, sound delivery that they want to, to create here. Because what's really the focal point is just these massive sound effects mainly and, and the glitching and the use of phasers, the use of reverb, the use of actually implementing different instrumental approaches throughout the song as well. You have this really, honestly, quite incredible piano opening, I think. It's very melodramatic. Um, also has a tendency to just kind of use notes that that take you a little bit out of the out of the expect out of the expected, I guess. It's a, it's a bit of an unexpected melodic style on it, uh, while also having this broken down sound of, of drama to it. the The thing that makes me love it even more, though, this piano part is the way that it's being introduced to the song once the song has really kicked in, and and once the song has introduced this incredibly heavy electronic. Uh, uh, influence that it really just relies on. The production quality is out of this world powerful. Um, I love the way that the bass and the and the percussion sounds together, but mainly just these massive synths and pads and broken down sound effects of just glitch and, and phasers. It's, it's actually quite... Uh, it's hard hitting and it's tangible, I'd say. Um, and the way that it's also structured throughout, it's very playful. It has a rhythmic variation throughout that really kind of leaves you hanging on each turn and, and, and segment throughout the song. It's structured in a very kind of uh, purposeful manner as well. And that goes hand in hand with the whole storytelling aspect of, I guess you'd say, the performance here that we have as well. With this kind of, I guess, like boss fight that they're going for. Mainly just what kind of sets it apart, though, is like this whole lighting, the props, the, the outfits, everything just goes hand in hand with creating uh, something so unique and memorable. And I think that if, if this is the one that Serbia ends up sending to Eurovision, it's a performance that everyone will remember. And that's that's just a standout part on its own. M might not be everyone's type of music. I mean, it's up there for me because it's right up my alley. I love these electronic, heavy, influenced, just kind of, bangers i guess you'd say uh with, with this type of energy with this type of intimacy within them while also just having intensity aggression uh dominance within the instrumental but i think like even if if even if the song isn't for you the performance would still make you feel like wow they're doing something cool here and and this is actually kind of a story being being portrayed in front of us and it's easy to really get along with with whatever they're doing and it's it's admirable at the same time because there's a purpose there's a concept it's really just easy to to kind of click with that. Um, I think like the overall just concept of everything that goes on here is is really quite fascinating, and and I love the fact that everything's so professionally put together to back that concept up. I think the instrumental is hard hitting. The production quality is out of this world strong. Um, I like the inputs from the vocals. It's not like a vocal performance that I think you'll really just consider to be among the strongest but it's a vocal performance that's incredibly important to fit the song the way that it is. It shouldn't be sung in a different way. This is just right because it adds to that kind of, I guess, eerie factor that, that the song already kind of establishes. And the suspense that the song actually relies so heavily on throughout is just amplified by, by this vocal approach, I'd say. I think it's a really fascinating song throughout. I think it's wonderful to listen to. I think it's even greater to just watch it as well. Uh, this is how you, this is how you stage an effort really well and just knock it out of the park. This is a this is a just fantastic experience and and even though this selection has been so strong so far, this this has to be up there. I I can't go for anything else now when I've seen this. The second semi final for for the Serbian national final has great competition, let's say, 
uh, and I'm just looking forward to getting around to some songs from that one as well. So please be on the lookout for my, on my channel for uh, more videos regarding the then the second semi from Serbia. If you're interested, uh, I hope you are because I'd like to see you all again come back for another video. Uh, but uh, yeah, take care of yourselves until the next time I see you. Um, we've had a great one to, in this one. Let's just say that. Bye-bye.